From a kettle to a trash bin, and even a broken television, these daily household items have been given second lives as pieces of art in Fapopo's hands. Fapopo, or Flower Granny, as she calls herself, is a self-taught artist in Hong Kong. But it wasn't until later in life that she started painting. Fapopo's life has been closely tied to flowers for decades. She started selling flowers for a living in her mid-twenties at a flower market in Hong Kong. Sometimes she also sold cardboard. With her modest earnings, Fapopo managed to raise a son and three daughters in one of the world's most expensive cities. After decades of hard work, Fapopo retired and settled in a village house in northwest Hong Kong. To pass time, she decided to find ways to decorate her home. That was when she began to take up art. One of the first things she painted were the flowers she knew so well. Fapopo paints on everything she touches. She now not only paints flowers, but also animals, and sometimes even faces. Many of her canvases were rescued from the trash. Once redone, Fapopo finds a place for them in her garden. Eventually, the artist began to run out of space in her home. So, she reached out to the rest of her village. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Fapopo painted these iconic lucky cats on the walls of the entrance to her village. Fapopo said the more cats she painted, the more the village would be protected from the virus. These paintings might have also brought luck to Fapopo herself. In recent years, her art has gained greater recognition in the local art industry. She held a solo exhibition at the 13A New Street Art Gallery in January 2023. Her latest work will also be displayed at the Park Lane Hotel until May 2024. Fapopo said she never thought her art would be shown at galleries. As the year of the dragon approaches, Fapopo says she plans to paint the Chinese zodiacs, especially the mythical serpent, to ring in the new year.